In this example, I want to use Visual Studio Code to create a sample template for either your projects or your labs that you'll be working on throughout this semester. So I have Visual Studio Code, and uh, I'm just going to jump over to Visual Studio Code. And I want to create a new text file. Okay, so here's Visual Studio Code and it's a new text file. And you'll notice on my desktop, it's it's empty. There are no folders or files on my desktop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new HTML file. So um, in order to do that, let me go ahead and create a folder on my desktop. So here's a new folder on my desktop. And I'm going to call this folder um, Demo1. Okay, and in demo one, I'm going to save this untitled document as an HTML file. Um, and then there's two ways to go about this. So if I save this file with a .html file extension, Visual Studio Code will recognize this file as an HTML file. The other way I could get Visual Studio Code to recognize this as an HTML file is to come down here um, to the language mode and I can change that to HTML. And what that does by changing that language mode, either by manually changing the language mode or by saving the file as a HTML file extension, um, it allows me to have the HTML shortcut. So if I type in HTML, I can select this HTML5 option and then tab complete uh, a short snippet of HTML. Okay, and it gives me uh, my doc type, my HTML, my header, my body, and my closing HTML. So it gives me all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and change the title to demo one. I'm going to go ahead and save this as index.html. Okay, so my file name will be index.html. Okay, and that's in that demo one folder. And if I come over to this explorer, I can actually open that folder. So I'm going to just open that demo one folder. And then what that's going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to see all of those files. Okay, so right now, uh, Visual Studio Code is recognizing this as an HTML file. Um, if I want to add a little JavaScript to this project, so uh, let's say when the page loads in a browser, I want to pop up an alert window saying, hello world. Uh, I'm going to do that with some JavaScript. So up here in the head section, I'm going to add a script. You'll notice I get that uh, code completion. So I want a script with an external JavaScript source. So I'm going to call this demo1.js. And then what that means is I'm going to have a demo1.js file in the same directory as index.html. So I can go ahead and create a new file. So here's demo1.js. And what I want to do is I want to say when the page loads, go ahead and um, kick off um, an alert window. Um, the way I do that is with an onload event. So I'm going, to, I'm going to say window.onload. Go ahead and run this function definition. And the function definition is just going to be an alert of hello world. Okay, and. Okay, and now if I want to test this out, I got a couple of options to test this out. Um, the first way I can do that is I can jump over to um, my finder window. And I can open up that file just by double clicking it in a browser. So you'll notice I get that hello world message. Another way that I can actually get to that file and probably a better option is I have the live server um, extension installed. So you'll notice if I do a search for live server, I have this live server extension. And what I can do with this then is I can take this index.html I come up to my view menu and go to the command palette and I can go to my live server. Okay, so I just type in L. So you'll notice it brings up this live server. So I can go ahead and open this up in my live server. And you'll notice what happens is it actually opens it up in a web server. So it's saying on my local machine, that's what that 127.0.0.1 is. Uh, I have a web server running on port 5500, and it's launching that index.html page for me. Okay, so just a couple of ways to um, access that HTML and JavaScript together within a browser. Um, at the end of all this, though, if I skip back over to the Finder window, 
what I have on my desktop, so on my desktop I have this demo one folder and my two files, my HTML file and my JavaScript file are both located in that folder. And let's say that um, this is the content for your first assignment and you're ready to turn it in. Uh, what I'm gonna suggest is um, you would take this entire folder that contains all of your files, it's a self-contained folder, uh, and then I would then compress it. Or if you're on a Windows machine, there's a send to and then zip file. Okay, and what that does is it creates a zip file. Okay, that zip file then contains that folder along with your HTML and JavaScript files and maybe CSS and images and things like that as the semester goes. Um, but for now, that would be a typical project structure for a JavaScript application.